I turned my a7 III into a film camera. Let me show you how. Okay, so I've made a video about this in the past. This will be short and sweet, but I just wanted to share this with you again because I'm constantly blown away with the results that I get from this combination. Um, so I actually own a couple film cameras, one of them being the Olympus OM-1. This guy right here, this is my first film camera. It's 35 millimeter. It's in great condition. I actually bought it off of an old coworker. Uh, it works great. I love it, right? I also have a Bronica Zinza, which is a medium format film camera that was actually gifted to me uh, for my wedding, which is awesome as well. But I, I've been having this affinity with film the film look, right? The filmic look, I guess you could say, of the, the soft kind of autofocus, bloomed highlights, you know, dreamy kind of look, vintage look. And um, I, I like I like taking film photos, don't get me wrong, but the process of waiting for it to get developed, um, you know, worrying about properly exposing it while you're taking the photos, it's all just like a, a big gamble. And then also film isn't cheap either. You know what I mean? It costs money to constantly buy those film cartridges, especially if you're buying like 120 mil, um, for medium format. So this combination always gets me. And I made a previous video about it. We actually, actually it was like a brief little vlog. We went up to Big Sur on a road trip and I took a bunch of photos using this combination. And it is the Helios 442. And not only just the lens, but a couple other things that are paired with it to make it work with the a7 III. And I'm just constantly blown away with like the look that I get from these. I actually just took some uh, like spring photos, I guess you, Mother's Day spring photos, I guess you could say, of my wife and our daughter. And I just love the way the photos come out. Um, so let me break this down for you guys here. So we have the Helios 442. Now it is important that you get one of the OG Helios lenses, like the 442 right here. Um, the newer ones are a bit more modern, I guess you could say. They're sharper. They're not as, uh, they don't have as, as, as much um, character uh, or imperfections, I guess you could say. Um, but Helios, Helios 442, you can find this on Amazon for like 50 bucks maybe. I haven't checked prices in, in a while, but um, you can get it cheap. And then I also bought this uh, photo, what is this? The Photo Deox, Photo Deox M42 to NEX, pretty much the Sony E-mount adapter to adapt this M42 screw mount to the Sony E-mount. So that way I can put it on my camera. And then last but not least, well really not last but not least, before we get to the last piece, we actually have all these step up rings. So this goes from, what is this? Uh, I think this is 49, yep, it goes from 49 to 62 to all these other ones, all the way up to 82 because I have an 82 millimeter Moment Cine Bloom 10% uh, diffusion filter. So this actually blooms highlights even more, kind of exaggerates the filmic look even more. You honestly probably don't even need it with this lens because um, like I said, it already has those those uh, characteristics and that imperfection in it. But I'm gonna show you a few photos that I recently took and I just wanna just show you guys again and reiterate that this combo is, is fire when it comes to making like filmic looking photos. I know a lot of people are going after Fujifilm for their like uh, their color pro presets. You know, they have the, the film stock presets that they have from all their film stock. Um, and people want that look. And you know, a lot of people are using, uh, you know, Pro Mist filters and, you know, Cine Blooms and Dream Effects. And really the glass is where it comes in. Cause I mean, you could put diffusion in front of any of these super sharp lenses and it's gonna look, you know, dreamy. It's gonna bloom the highlights a bit. But if you really want those like, center focus, you know, defocus fringes, a little bit of chromatic aberration. If you're chasing those characteristics and those imperfections, you're really gonna need one of these kind of lenses. And you know, there's tons of other vintage lenses out there. This isn't the only one, but this is the one that I've been using and I can't vouch for it enough. I love it. I just wanted to come in here real quick and tell you guys that. Um, but yeah, check out these photos and you know, until next time, it's been a pleasure. Stay fresh, peace. Disturbing the peace with some peace of mind. Sleeping in jeans, I'ma need a night. OD on the cheap advice. OC on the cheapest flight. Lately, I've been on the move, trying to get to something. But I told her I've been running just to see the sights, see the lights, and they're not my type. So we chill with brother if it's ice or white, but it's not. Am I living life in a box? Tell if it's a crisis or not. I hate coming off too normal, but I can use a wife and a dog and a job and a white fence off where the white kids walk. Well, have I been lost? Don't know where the days went. I spent a lot of nights in a blur And I bet it's been a few too many trying to make it And I, I haven't yet, yeah We had to bet I'm only here, yeah You know
But if you don't like this music, then don't be listening to it You know, I'm just a dude that you know Or something similar If you don't keep it real, can you go somewhere but here? Cause you know, we're only losing control